of you too. Shadow DPS here. On the SZ-10 today. Hope everyone is doing good today. It is about 90 degrees out today. It's about 5 o'clock in the evening. Looks like we might get hit with a late afternoon thunderstorm. So I need to get back. How many guys... How many of you guys are getting tired of all the divisiveness out there regarding politics, religion, socioeconomic status? I was made the mistake of watching uh, CNN this morning. And it's the same old crap, man. Same old crap. People just want to argue about insignificant things, really. Some things aren't insignificant, like, uh, well, I'm not going to get into it right now. I don't want to make this a political photo vlog, but it just seems that we should be able to get along and come to some common understanding of, of each other's viewpoints and that does not seem to be happening on either side of course everyone's going to have a different background different bias but it just seems to me that we need to be focusing more on commonality oh man that's beautiful over there the sun rays coming through the through the clouds it seems to me that we should be thinking more about what we have in common more so than what we don't. I remember this one guy I used to be stationed with when I was in uh, the Air Force many years ago. Me and him would get into some heated arguments about a lot of things, religion, politics, whatever. No topic was, uh, but it was cool, man, because, uh, a lot of things that I would say, a lot of my points, he would actually sit down and say, hey, you know, I never really thought about it that way. And vice versa, I did the same same thing with uh, some of his points. You know, even though we both came from different, well, we both had different backgrounds and different ideas, we didn't turn off from each other. We tried to keep an open mind. Oh man, look at slow traffic try to keep an open, open mind and uh, we considered each other's viewpoints which is something that we need to do and we got along pretty good but here today especially in Washington D.C. and other parts of the country man we just aren't seeing eye to eye oh look at that lightning let me get back we are not seeing eye to eye or anything just need to figure out ways of uh, finding common ground and uh, stop the BS. I don't care what a person's background is, what color they are, really what religion they are, as long as they respect my values. And in terms of riding with a person with a different background, different belief system, I don't care. I don't care who who you are. As long as you treat me with respect, as long as you know how to ride, as long as you're not a knucklehead, I'll ride with you. I'll drink with you. I'll hang out with you. But if you're not one of those things, if you got a hard head or if you're closed-minded, or just a bigot, ain't screw with you, man. I can get along with anybody. No doubt about that, and I have got along with pretty much anybody. I'm the most laid-back person there is, as long as you treat me with respect. And that's all. It, that's what it's all about. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Anyway, I think the bottom line is I need to quit watching the news so often. I get all heated up, pissed off about things that are going on and a lot of the solutions are easy 
were not as difficult as people make it seem to be. So, but anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about bikes and trips. I will be doing a video very soon on the Super Tenere. I'm coming up on four years of ownership on the ST. I bought it back in 2014, so I'm going to do a four-year review in the next uh, week or so. And I also want to get your opinions on a few things on what other adventure bikes are out there that I may want to consider if I ever consider selling the Super Tenere and buying a new adventure bike. So that'll be coming up pretty soon. I'm always going to have an adventure bike in my stable. So that's going to remain constant. Whether it's the Super Tenere or another bike, that remains to be seen. But I've been very happy with the, uh, with the ST over the last four years. It's been an awesome bike. An awesome bike. And I am planning a trip perhaps later this year or next year. I'm going to try to make it this year though. Up to Alberta, Canada. My oldest daughter is stationed in Montana. So I want to go up there to Montana to visit her and then from there I'm going to cross the Canadian border go through Calgary hit Banff National Park and ride up to Lake Louisa in Alberta stay there a couple of days and then ride back hit Moab, Utah, on the way back. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions on that ride, anything that I could uh, possibly see. Oh, one thing I'm, I'm going to check out in uh, Montana is Glacier National Park. Heard good things about it. And I've seen some awesome pictures of it. So I will be checking out Glacier National Park. And that'll be happening either later this year, August, September time frame, or sometime next year. I'm trying to make it this year if I can. So we shall see. I say it's about a 70% chance that I'll make it this year. I've got a few other non motorcycle trips scheduled this year. Mostly work trips, but uh we shall see. So yeah, I just don't understand the divisiveness that we have out in the world today. You gotta be able to find commonalities. Just like bikers. We all have one thing in common. We love to be on two wheels. That's why you have the biker wave out there. Bikers who have no idea who they're waving at are waving because there is some commonality. We have something in common with other bikers, the fact that we love to be on two wheels. You know, I'll stop at a gas station and another biker will come up and just chat me up for 15 or 20 minutes about my bike or warm hit it. And it uh, really doesn't matter that my background may be different from his or her bike background. The fact that we both love to ride is enough to start a dialogue. So we need to be more like that as a society instead of being all uptight about whatever. So that's one thing I love about motorcycling is the people that we meet on the road or wherever simply because of the fact that we ride. I don't care if a person I ride with is a Republican or Democrat 
I don't care if they're a Protestant, Methodist, Baptist. I don't care if they're rich or poor, as long as they can ride, as long as they are cool and treat me with respect. Have common sense. Have a good personality. Hey, we good. We are good. That's the way it should be, right? Man, got to clean my helmet. Got hit with all kind of bugs today. Man, sun is back out now. Well, that's all I got for you today. Stay tuned on my future videos. Got a couple more coming out very soon. So I will talk to you later. Peace.